everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Weldon and I have been redoing our little place and we have a spare bedroom. And if you guys have been watching for some time, you've seen me film tons of videos in here with our peach wall as well as my exposed closet. But I wanted to transform this space into something that might be a little bit more inspirational and a little bit more focused. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you as well can maybe incorporate some of these tactics into your home to create an inspirational space. The first tip for creating an inspirational space is almost to dial things back and tidy things up. And not only that, but also give it a deep clean because a deep clean can for sure help with health, air quality, and all that fun stuff. But a tidy space equals a tidy mind. Is this true? We hear this all the time. So let's take it to the psychologists and the science people who are really going behind that phrase. According to a study that was conducted at Princeton Neuroscience Institute, having multiple stimuli present within range of one's view can definitely result in all of this stimuli competing for your neurological power. So in layman's terms, basically the more clutter you see, it's easier to get distracted. And most certainly I felt that in this room, even when I was filming some of my outfit videos, I wanted to do like a 10 by 10, for example. And behind me, there was so much going on. And not only is this distracting for me when I'm filming and just trying to focus on what I'm talking about, but I think from a viewer standpoint as well, a lot of clutter in the background can distract from the main focus of the topic. Next up, as we're talking about creating an inspirational space, creativity is a huge part of that. And one thing that absolutely helps with creativity is lighting. Not only is it huge in ways I want to live my life, like Huga and the Danes, but it's just something every single person notices. Light has a lot to do with emotions and mood. So let's talk a little bit about that. Some studies have even shown that brighter light can intensify emotions while low light doesn't remove emotions, but it keeps them steady. This can lead to people having the ability to make more rational decisions in low light. And if you live somewhere like I do in Canada <laughs> and you are watching this during a winter month, you know that sunlight has an absolute huge impact on your mental health and the release of serotonin. So not only do we feel it, but our bodies as well react to the amount of sunlight and brightness. So to create my inspirational space, I was so thrilled to partner up with Nano Leaf, who gifted me this incredible product you were seeing behind me. And there are so many different ways that you can configure Nano Leaf. But if you are like, what is that? How did you put that together? I'm gonna throw it over to VO Amanda. Take it away, Amanda. Thanks, Amanda. Let me tell you a little bit about this gifted product. So this is from Nano Leaf, bespoke lighting that you can design in your home pretty much any way you want to. I didn't know how I was gonna do my design before I started, but it was really fun putting it together. And what is so great as well is this is without traditional industry markups. It's so easy to install. I did it all by myself, no tools required. All you have to do is use the included adhesive strips and that helps secure the panels to the wall and you can create your desired design. Honestly, they look so beautiful off or on. Sorry, they've been flickering in this video. They don't flicker in real life. And and the elements that I chose, I went with textured wood like finishes, which also bring in that nature inspired elegance to the space. Truly, they set the perfect ambiance, whether it be the daytime or the nighttime. And I'm in here editing with Rosie curled up beside me. And you can create unique lighting scenes as well, like a fireplace or a calming waterfall. And that will all be run through the app. It's super simple. As I mentioned, it's great for minimal spaces as well, especially when I want to set a creative scene and not be distracted, but rather inspired by my space. If you guys want to know more, I actually do have a link in my bio. No kickback at all. It will just give you a chance to get 10% off this amazing product. And if you head over to my Instagram at below the blonde, I am running a giveaway as well. And I'll put those details in the description as well so that you know when the timeline of that giveaway will be. Back to you on camera, Amanda. Color is also a ginormous part of inspiring creativity. I don't think anyone can be fully creative in a space, a white room with fluorescent lighting. It's just not a vibe. So color, when we're talking about tones, you wanna really think about what do I want to inspire in this room? Is it calmness? Is it creativity? Is it enthusiasm? So that's where color theory comes into play. Orange is said to inspire creativity and enthusiasm, and yellow is said to inspire creativity, imagination, and inspiration. So if you're really thinking about that word creativity, 
those are maybe the hues that you're gonna to wanna to stay in. Now, in this room specifically, I also love to generate a sense of calm. And that is why our peach wall from A New Wall is so effective. These stick-on wallpapers are amazing, not only if you own your space, but also if you're renting it, because you can create an inspirational space and really make it your own, despite the fact that you might be renting and know that, you know, maybe in a couple years time, etc., you might be on your way, but that's no reason not to make your space your own. You can add color to a space by adding a little throw, a pillow, decor pieces are great ways to add color to a space because you're not necessarily having to do a huge project, maybe like a wallpaper wall, or you could even just put some colorful photos in a frame, something that you really love. I think color theory is so interesting when it comes to breaking down the way our brains work, but we're all individual creatures doing our own thing. So whatever color really speaks to you, bring that into your space. Number four is being able to shut out the world and absolutely kind of create a boundary for yourself. Hashtag boundaries, one of the words for the years moving ahead. So what my dad and I did was we not only tidied the space by covering up my closet with this gorgeous linen curtain that I purchased from Ikea as well as that rod, but we also extended it all the way across the room. Not only will this help me in the content creation side of things, but it also allows me to really shut out the world. When I picture this room now, a day after doing this little reno with the nano leaf as well as this curtain, I picture myself, you know, shutting the curtain fully, turning on my nano leaf, doing some yoga, maybe reading my book, and just having a moment to myself. So if there's some way that you can do that in your room, whether that be just shutting the door and talking to your housemates, your family, or maybe you live alone, just telling them, hey, when my door shut, this is me setting a boundary just so I can kind of get into the zone of my space. That's definitely a communication tactic that can help you get in the zone and just create that inspiration get it brewing when you're by yourself in your room. Next up, we have plants. Not only do they clear our air, and I'll put a list of air filtration plants down below if you're not even sure where to start, but plants are also that little living companion. If you don't have a pet or you don't have any housemates, having a plant around really gives you that opportunity to wake up and realize that you have to take care of something outside of yourself. A plant also provides so much give back when it comes to that cleaner air, as well as just that softer feel. In the colder months, it is so hard to get outside. Here lately, it has been feeling like minus 20, and I know that there are some parts of the world where they would be like, that's actually kind of warm because it feels like minus 40 here, which is insane to say, but it really doesn't make you want to go outside. I suggest doing it and bundling up, but bringing the outside indoors has been proven to help with mental health, and throughout these darker, colder months, that's something that I think we all need. These next two are ones that I think that we overlook often. And I'll start with the first one. The first one is music. I think when you think of creating a space, you're really thinking of, whoa, what, what can I bring in decor wise, texture wise, color wise, but we often forget about the other senses. So having music, having your playlist that you know is almost kind of like a cognitive response. For me, it's lo-fi. I will link down a couple of lo-fi playlists down below. Basically what lo-fi does for me is it gets me in the zone. For an inspirational space, I think what's really cool that you could add are triggers to entice flow state. If you have no idea what flow state is, I will link up a different video up above. Basically the essence of flow state is being able to focus on one task and it just feels easy. Things are flowing. Say you're writing your essay and you're just, you're just there, you're just in it. Or flow state could be something like you're riding a bike down the highway and there's the ocean on the side and you're just there. Being in flow state is a creative's paradise. And one way to trigger it is actually to have one to two hours of more repetitive music on. That's what I find in lo-fi or other people find in classical music. Techno music has also been able to push people into flow state, depending on what they're being creative with. You just have to find what works for you. The next one is scent. Yes, let's dive into another one of the five senses. Scents that have been proven to maybe trigger 
an energizing feel are citrus scents like orange or lemon, etc. Ones that I find are really common, you might relate to lavender or vanilla. Finding the scent that works for you can definitely change up a space. And if you have absolutely no idea where to start, this is your homework challenge. You need to go find yourself a candle. <laughs> and hopefully your room has great ventilation as well. I find that candles release that scent really slowly into the air versus a room spray, but whatever works for you, go for it. I'm gonna show you the candle that I have currently been burning, but oh, I just love candles, so they are all over the house. This one is Balance. I found it at Indigo and it's a Himalayan salt candle and I just love that it says balance on it and they have so many other options. I will link a couple of them down below. I love the color of the jar. It goes with my room and I also know that I will be able to use that jar again in the future. So find yourself a scent that you find inspiring. Last but not least, we are going to talk about books. I find books really inspirational, but this has only been in most recent years. I never really took the time to invest a lot into reading and now that I have started reading, I find that I'm not only a stronger writer, but things just flow a lot easier. It has been proven, I mean, this is a complete no-brainer, that the more you read, the smarter you get. So in terms of creating an inspirational space, having books around, I find inspiring because not only is it like, wow, Wow. wow. That person sat down and wrote that entire book, but you may be learning about stories, facts, theories that inspire you in your own work. Once again, I will have the Nano Leaf tiles linked down below so you can check them out. And Nano Leaf, thank you so much again for sending these over and pushing me to make a video like this and redoing this room because now I am truly just so excited to get filming for you guys. And if you want to see what I'm up to, what I'm filming, please do hit that subscribe button and hit the bell because then you'll never miss one at all from me. That being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.